So this is the uh, single wheel trailer for my CRF 250L. Built all of this myself. Um, we'll start up by the bike first. I just made some extended axle plates here and then I've got a greasable bolt that I made. Here's the brass bushing in here and then I've got a, a pin on here so the bolt, bolt can't pull out. That's my vertical pivot. We move back here a little bit and I've got a uh, CRF 50. It's just a generic I guess but it said it fit a CRF 50 dirt bike. Um, it's a front fender I'm just using that to keep some of the debris off of the trailer. And I've got a greasable pin here with a couple brass bushings and um, these collars are welded on so that pin doesn't move so all the wear is on these brass bushings. That's my uh, horizontal pivot. We move back here. This uh, whole platform is bolted on so I can remove it and also this rail is bolted onto the platform so I can remove that. I wanted to make it modular so in the future if I want to uh, haul a couple five gallon buckets for fishing or do something else on it I could just easily unbolt it put something else on. Uh, it's a 38 quart cooler. I've actually got um, my backpack in here that's got all my tools and stuff in it and um, rain gear and warm base layers that sort of thing and then uh, just a ratchet strap to this one eyelet that holds it all on and uh, the suspension is actually height adjustable if I increase the length of these rods it will uh, pull this back and it will lower the suspension which I actually need to do to make it uh, ride a little better I've got a CB450 shock on here it's uh, preload adjustable and then uh, you know, reflectors for safety but then I've just got some regular old mountain and mounted bearings nothing special and then I built this single-sided swing arm that holds a generic farm supply store tire wheel and uh, tire rim and hub on it um, that's just generic trailer parts there it's basically the same thing that's on the boat trailer but um, a lot of these components are super generic easy to find any Farm supply or auto parts store will have stuff to fix that if you know if something goes bad on the road, which is kind of why I built it that way. Um, the uh, fender is just a, a boat trailer fender that I cut down, and I've made a couple brackets to hold it on there. And, um, but yeah, you know it looks better from this side. Single-sided swing arms always do, but. Uh, I took it around town a little bit, went over some bumps and stuff with it, worked just fine. Um, it articulates really nice. Then uh, I took it up to 65 miles an hour and it just had a little tiny bit of wobble with it. And I think that's because this tire has some uneven wear on it. It's got more slope on this side than that side, but uh, I can straighten that out. It should ride just fine. I think lowering the suspension a little bit will help with that too. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be taking this on any like single track off road park things, but the dirt and gravel stuff that I ride, it should work just fine. So we're going to do some more testing with it, uh, take it out on the road, see how it, see how it works.